everybody, it's Max with Modern Classics. Today we're looking at a rally car legend. This is a 1990 Lancia Delta Integrale. And yes, you have to say Integrale with an Italian accent. Take a look at this car, super excited to have it. We're gonna do a little walk around video, talk about the exterior condition, I'll tell you about the history of it. And then if my battery on my phone allows, we'll hop in and take it for a drive. This was a Japanese spec car originally. This car is wearing uh, mostly original paint. A few panels have been repainted. You can see this is the Delta HF Integrale, which will get you the boxed fenders. Being a 1991, it is not an uh, evolution, but it does have the Evo wheels on this, which give it a very nice stand. So those are just such cool wheels. Those are wrapped in brand new rubber. Just spent about $1,400 in reconditioning this car, bringing it up to speed, service, including the tires. So it's turnkey, ready to go, ready to be enjoyed. If you uh, don't know anything about the Deltas, they were built to uh, challenge the, the, they're a competitor to the Volkswagen Golf. A lot of people have asked me or said, hey Max, that's a really nice Golf you have. Well, actually, the trained eye will say, that's a Lancia, and it's not only just a Lancia, it's a Delta, and the Delta is the most winning rally car championship model still to this day. It won six back-to-back -back World Rally Championship titles and had two driver titles as well. Check out the interior. There's a few little fun upgrades, but one thing I just wanna talk about is how analog and fun that gear shifter is. It feels like something that's like, I don't know, there's something about this car. It's like Sonic the Hedgehog, or it just feels so 90s, especially when you look at the print on the very cool Recaro seats with the Alcantara sides. The interior is in very good condition. Headliner is nice, not sagging. No sunroof on this car, which is cool. I'll open up the door so you can see the cool Recaros. And then get down here and take a look. It even has the Recaro logo on the seat rail. Super cool. It is a hot hatchback car, so the funk does have a lot of space out back. Like I said, it was a competitor to the Volkswagen Golf. Spare tire, toolkit. I have about 100 photos of this car, including undercarriage photos. So do inquire about taking a look at those. Open up the hood and then we'll start it up. Love this clamshell style hood. These cars are so much fun. It's a two liter with a tur big turbocharger on it and it, this engine is just all boost. It's an all wheel drive car. You can see that it is a transaxle up here. So these, like I said, came out to compete with the Golf and they were front wheel drive, but Lancia just built this into uh, an evolution of rally cars and performance models. So they literally built, the, they started to mold the body around the engine. You can see this intake plenum. And then they had to do the larger hood that's sitting up about two inches more than usual. Same with the boxed fenders sticking out. Everything was just, the thing was just bulking out and out. Still retained the same platform from the 70s. Super, super cool. Let's go ahead and take it for a drive. I'm gonna start it up. Go ahead and listen to it. five-speed manual transmission fan does work ever so slightly this car has had the ABS deleted ABS on the Deltas was very very troublesome previous owner did that he also did a timing belt very important on these cars I don't unfortunately have any receipts but I did have my mechanic take a look at the belts and he said yeah Max those look like brand new belts previous owner said that he had did, uh, he had the, the belts done I think roughly 500 kilometers before I had purchased it. Also, it has a brand new windshield. These windshields 
are very expensive to replace, about $1,000 from Italy. We've got this very cool Momo period correct steering wheel on here that I just love. Also, we have some aftermarket gauges too. Somebody also thought they'd go race car mode and install a push button ignition so that, as well as turning the key in the ignition, will fire the car up. Gauges are nice. And it's all boost. <laughs> My dad's in the car filming this with me. How was that? Holy shit. <laughs> you know hey, we're what? on YouTube. <laughs> Careful. You know what? Do it again. Brakes stop well. <laughs> what do you think? Wow. Yeah, it feels like a Porsche 930 Turbo. Yeah, exactly. In addition to the, the boost and the power that this thing puts down, having that all-wheel drive and the direct steering, this thing is just so darn nibble. And I just, part of me wants to turn this into a little uh, time attack car or a uh, put some studded tires on it in the wintertime, a ski rack, lift it up on some coils, mud flaps, and just have a fun time with it. It is so nimble. The turning is so great. Extremely agile. You feel so connected to the car. One fun little quirk about this car remember this is when fiat was involved with launches not my usual build quality hence you'll see this little idiot light coming on if i've had my mechanic go through this whole car this like it comes on and off there's there's nothing wrong with it it's just something that pops up but what i want to direct your attention to is the rpm meter here it's going to be dark i'm going to grab the camera so that you can see this it goes like an aston martin it goes the opposite direction of what you're used to so let's go through the gauges vacuum gauges boost gauge work to temperature gauges gauges Pretty fun, huh? Holy crap. <laughs> All right, otherwise it's it's nice in here. We've got a set of Sparco pedals down there. Uh, stereo does not work. My mechanic had the power that went to it. Um, I, it just needs a new head unit put in there. I haven't elected to do that because I like listening to the turbo and the exhaust. Anyways, my name's Max. This car is for sale uh, at my dealership here in Boise, Idaho, Modern Classic Autos. I'm on Instagram at imported underscore classic underscore cars and find me on Instagram there very active there uh, go ahead and hit subscribe to this video if you enjoyed it I like putting out these videos of rare and unique cars so I try to do one uh, once every other week and uh, my phone number is 208-720-8854 you can give me a call if you want to come and take this car for a test drive or purchase it thanks for watching